everyone, it's art time. Today we're making abstract symmetrical ants. There's two big words in that title, abstract. So art can either be abstract or realistic. What does it mean when art is abstract? It's kind of the opposite of being realistic. It might have some features that remind you of the real version of something like an ant, like this still has three body parts and six legs and antenna and eyes. But is this the color that ants are? Or is this the exact shape? Or do ants have all these different designs? No, so you take something and then you change it and make it really artistic and it loosely resembles um, the realistic version of itself. So this is an abstract ant. It's also symmetrical, which means, well, you tell me, what does it mean that it's symmetrical? There's a, see a fold down the middle here? And look at both sides of that ant. What do you notice about both of those sides of the ant? Yeah, they're the same. So symmetrical means it's the same on both sides. So I will show you step by step how to do this ant. And you'll get to be really super creative with it and make it as abstract as you want. So step number one is to fold your paper. So, <clears throat> so sometimes we talked about hot dog or hamburger folding. This is a, we're folding it like a hot dog bun. So fold it in half. Remember, get the two, the long edges to line up and then a crease from top to bottom. So then when you open it up, you'll have paper with a line down the middle. That's what we really are looking for is that line. When you do your writing, you're going to want to open it like this, open it like a book and write and I mean draw as if you're drawing on the inside of the book, okay? So see how I started a line there? Like you're drawing on the inside of the book. Okay, so I started, <clears throat> I made a paper up here because it'll be easier for you to see if I'm writing on the whiteboard. So the first thing to do is we want to get the three different body parts. Now, in order to make it symmetrical, this is what we'll do. We're only going to focus on drawing one side of our ant. So we're going to just draw half of the ant. It's a little tricky, but you'll get used to it. So I'm going to start with the three body parts. Start with the abdomen and make some kind of curvy shape like that. However it turns out is okay. You just want to make sure that it's big enough that you can add some details to it and that you want your ant to take up most of the paper, but if this is too big, there won't be room for the legs. So just big enough, okay? Leave room for the leg on the side. So abdomen and then do half of a thorax and then half of a head. So think of all the different shapes you want to do and do half of them. Okay, so there's my three body parts. Next, I'm going to do one antenna because I know that ants have two, but when I fold it in half later on, we'll get the other antenna. And then one eye. Remember, we're just doing half. Half of a mouth. And oh, I wanted to say something. When you do your antenna, don't make it. Let me show you down here. Okay, pretend this is your midline. Don't make it so super duper skinny because we'll be tracing all of these lines with our black crayon. And if you make this super duper skinny and then you trace it with your black crayon, the black lines will touch each other and there won't be room for any details inside. So that's what not to do, okay? What you do want to do is make sure, so you might want to exaggerate it a little bit when you're drawing it with your pencil, leave a bigger space because the crayon lines will be thicker and fill it in more. And then you can add detail at the end. Okay, so no super skinny antenna. And the other thing I'm gonna say is when we do the legs, you also don't want, look at what happens with my, if I do super skinny legs. Is there any room for designs in there? No. So when you do your legs, you also want to make sure that you're leaving some space. Does that make sense? Okay. 
So, okay, so we did the three body parts, an eye, a mouth, the <clears throat> one antenna, and then we'll do three legs. Because we'll get the other three to make six once we fold it. Okay, so three legs coming out of the abdomen. So that's the basic outline of your ant. So you'll want to do that first. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and let you work on that. You're going to do that with a pencil. Okay, so go ahead and work on that.